Hi everyone, in this lecture I'm going to show you how you can create database tables in Postgres using Python. So, uh, first off we are going to install a module. So I'm going to say clear, so pip env install. It is going to be sci, uh, scicop g2. It sounds like a very cool movie, but <laughs> it isn't. It's a module. Just go ahead and install it, scicop g2 okay now scikit g2 module is compliant with the python uh, database api so interacting with this module will look pretty similar uh, to how we have worked with other modules and other database management systems nonetheless a different database management system which is postgres is being leveraged under the hood now we are waiting for it to install this and then we are going to access this vir virtual environment we don't see it here perfect I'm gonna grab the path from there I'm gonna say enter interpreter path let's just enter it and hit enter perfect I'm gonna activate it as well so shall there we go let's just clear it out so how can we work with scicop g2 first off let's import it scicop g2 there we go First off, we need to connect to our database from our Python application. So we are going to say scicopd2.connect. You can see that this is like sort of Python so far. Now we need to pass in the database. So uh, I'm going to say, let's just come in here. Let's just organize it a little bit better. So database is going to be equal to, what is the database? It is the company uh sales then let's come down here and we're going to pass in user what is user it is m underscore halali uh halali perfect what is the password let's pass in the password as well so it's it's similar to what we've been doing so far so there is nothing new yet what is the host where is the host it is local host the same info that we passed in there and uh, finally the port the port is going to be 5432 save that uh, auto pip let's install it now we are going to create our cursor object as well so uh, let's just save this inside the connection connection variable and then we are going to create the cursor variable and we are going to grab the connection dot cursor perfect now uh, we can the reason that we need cursor again is because it allows us to um, execute queries uh, with the with this cursor it allows us to execute queries so we are going to say cursor dot execute it's the same as that lightning bolt in mysql so i'm going to do triple quotes we are going to say create so we are creating tables as the name of the lesson suggests we're going to say create table i'm going to call it sale and uh, it is going to ask from us uh, we need to pass in the um, columns so i'm going to say the first column is order underscore num the type is going to be integer uh, and also primary key there is uh, another module i'm not sure if i've talked about it that is python string uh, sql here it is you can install it sometimes it's it's a little bit buggy that's why i haven't mentioned it i don't think i've mentioned it before because it's a little bit buggy so if you just say begin sql in the beginning part of your sql command it's not going to run as your original sql command it is just going to uh restyle your sql command to just differentiate between keys and columns and at the end you have to say and sql it's a little bit buggy so i'm not using it a lot but i think it is going to work well here so it, this is going to be primary key and then we have order type oops order type this is going to be T-E-X-T. You can see text. Data type is different than the column name. 
then cast a name which is text again then we are going to provide production number all the columns basically production number is um, text for some reason uh, production underscore name is going to be text as well so uh, we have quantity so quantity quantity perfect this is going to be integer uh, we have price which is going to be real another data type we are going to have discount discount which is going to be real as well and order total I know it's really taking some time because everything is capital and order total is going to be real as well so let's save all of that hopefully it is not buggy anymore and um, hmm. so perfect so now now the real data type it has seven digits of precision uh, the number of digits uh, the precision basically means the number of digits to the right of the decimal points it is also called a floating point number but, but with seven uh, digits of precision now let's con uh, commit our connection so I'm gonna say connection dot commit and let's close the connection as well dot close perfect now now that we are done with this let's execute our file let me just copy the name from here so let's execute that I'm gonna say Python this uh, using C what is it saying I cannot open essentials creating uh, oops I did not provide dot pi so it says no module named scikit g2 even though we have installed it and it should be within the pip file scikit g2 so let me just grab the name from there it's the same thing so let's save that let's grab pip inf oh the uh, activation was down the virtual environment was down now let's run this again order num integer primary key that's that's the reason that's why what I was trying to tell you so I'm just gonna get rid of this for now and hopefully the issue is resolved other other than that you can see so this is why uh, I, I do not like using that it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't when I was creating these lectures it works splendidly but now it is just throw, throwing errors so I just removed it and we executed this file so from here just to check that we have actually tables and all of that good stuff we remember we are connected to our company sales now uh, to be able to show our day tables we are going to do DT and when you hit enter there we go so you have a schema which is public name is sale type is table owner is my my good self now you can select the columns as well from it extract data so you can say sale is it sale or sales it, it, it I should have provided sales but again it's the name of the table some people say it has to be plural or singular so it doesn't really matter for that so you can see that we have let me zoom out we have order num order type customer name product number product name quantity price discount order total perfect see you in the next lecture